In this quick tip, I'll show you how to use the control or command key to turn on auto select layer as needed. So here's a scrapbook page I've been working on. In December, my husband and I celebrated our 20th anniversary and I wanted to make a page about it using the picture we took for our Christmas cards this year. This cute kit by April Lisa also happens to match the colors in the photo, so that makes me extra happy. So today's quick tip that I want to share with you is about the move tool. This tip works the same for both Photoshop Elements and Adobe Photoshop. Within the tool options of the Move tool, there is an option called Auto Select Layer. When this option is turned on and the Move tool is active, wherever you click on the document, so in this case I'll click on the photo, that's the layer that will be selected in the Layers panel. But sometimes having Auto Select Layer turned on can be a problem. A few reasons are if you accidentally click on something you didn't mean to, now the wrong layer is active in the Layers panel. Also, if you have small elements or items on your document, it can be difficult to always click on the correct item. And third, when you try to click on a type layer, if you don't click precisely on a letter, sometimes it will auto-select the layer directly behind the type, which is often the background paper or a regular paper layer. So for these reasons and more, I prefer to leave Auto Select Layer turned off. But sometimes it can be very handy to have the option to use Auto Select Layer. Maybe you have quite a few layers in the Layers panel, or maybe you have a lot of layers that look the same. Like in my case, I have a lot, I have four layers with these hearts, and I'm not sure exactly which layer when activated here corresponds to which layer on the document. So it's times like these when using auto select layer can be helpful. The problem is if you turn auto select layer on, it's sticky. So if you turn it on in the tool options and then forget to turn it off, the next time you open Photoshop or Photoshop elements, it will still be turned on. And if you're used to it being turned off, it might take a few minutes to figure out why your move tool is acting up before you remember you had turned on the auto select layer option. Well, this is where my quick tip comes in handy. Whenever you have the move tool active and you might want to use auto select layer without having to turn it on in the tool options, you can do this instead. So on the document, hold down the control key in Windows or the command key on a Mac and if you watch the tool options, you see that when you do that, auto select layer is temporarily checked. If you release the control or the command key, then the check mark next to auto select layer is removed. So using the control or the command key when the move tool is active allows us to turn on the auto select layer selectively or only when we need it. So let me show you a quick demonstration on my page. I want to give these two green leaf elements a custom shadow. I could go to the layers panel and scroll until I find the leaves and the elements and activate them like usual. Or on the document with the move tool active, I can hold down the control key in Windows or the command key on a Mac, and then I will click on the green leaf element to activate that specific layer in the layers panel. Once I release the controller of the command key, now my move tool is back to normal and auto select layer is no longer checked. From here, I can make my custom shadow. So now I can repeat that for the other green leaves element on my page. So I'll hold down the control key in Windows or the command key on a Mac and click on that element to activate it in the layers panel. And from there, I can create my other custom shadow. And here's my page now that my custom shadows are complete. There are many situations where being able to use auto select layer can be handy and being able to have that option turned on only when you want it can be very helpful depending on the project. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. This has been Jennifer Juris with Digital Scrapper. We help you get your stories told.